Hey, didn't catch anything, huh? Not today. Oh, no. It's a good thing we make a delicious fish sandwich here at Wendy's. What are we even doing here? It's another off the rails adventure into the wide world of processed food with Wendy's crispy panko fish sandwich. This wasn't on the menu. I had to just ask for it. Fish sandwich, please. No luck, huh? Wendy's fish sandwich, a large- Now, y'all know I love filet -O fish at McDonald's. I have that crap all the time. Let's see how the Wendy's stacks up. I like that they've, uh, you know, wrapped it up pretty neat in this foil. And it comes open just so. Wow. That's a dark, dark patty. So, um, like it must have really fried, huh? They put cheese on it. They put uh, a little bit of lettuce. It's hard to tell. Yeah, some pickles. Uh, yeah, wow, 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 kind of sad. Um, what do you say we like cut this thing in half and take a look at what's on the inside, huh? Not gonna lie, a little harder to get through that than I thought. But look at this, pretty nice cross section. Looks like a decent filet of, um, what do you got, Alaskan Pollock? That's what they're talking about. Yeah, yeah, hmm, hmm. It looks pretty um, okay though. I mean, I'm not, I'm not enthusiastic because the lettuce looks like crap and uh, gosh, it just looks like, I don't know, did it fry it to get that dark? Whatever, um, and it tastes like fish. Uh, Excuse me for a minute, I'll eat this and then we'll come back. Okay, here are my thoughts. Uh, they've opted to go with a uh, toasted bun. I don't think Mickey D's does that. They do steam for whatever reason. This lettuce did not add anything. Kind of a thick piece of lettuce, but I don't know. Whatever they think that the lettuce does for this, it's not happening. The pickles kind of help the tartar sauce. They give the sandwich this overall kind of tart feeling. The cheese, it's like barely there, but there's sort of like a texture of like melty cheese that gets stuck between your teeth. Uh, the fish really just kind of not, not feeling it. The shell of the breading is just so, so stiff, so dull. It's kind of too chewy. Um, by the time you get through the breading, you're kind of mangling up the um, the fish and you don't really get this like sensation of like, you know, flakiness on the inside of the fish. It's just, um, I don't know, just eating, eating the um, fish by itself is a better experience than um, eating the sandwich, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. So just for comparison, I brought a little friend to help us see what's going on, you know, so we can have some uh, apples to apples, perhaps. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Okay. Got our uh, hastily put together filet of fish you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna cut this guy in half. Uh -huh. About a similar cross section here, I think, with a piece of fish. Yeah. Give me a second. Look at him go. This kid loves fish sandwiches. Unbelievable. Kind of like the support I get from my fantastic Patreon supporters. Especially brand new fishy freaks like Austin and John Alexander. Thank you, you kind and generous people. Okay, back to the show. So the filet of fish 100% is a less confused product. Honestly, I think the pickles and the lettuce kind of throw it off. Um, you know, it doesn't look like much, but the fish flakes better. And I think having like just a thinner breading overall makes it easier to get into the fish with your teeth and not have it be like interrupted ahead of time for all the other, uh, you know, structural forces around it. Yeah, that's what I think. Um, anyway. 
Hope you found this very helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.